Hi everyone! Today I'm sharing a lesson from Matthew C. Gamma. Usually I teach her a couple of lessons a week and she completes the worksheets independently. She likes doing all of them which is fine by me and it's good practice for her anyway. And of course if she runs into any problems we work through them together. My daughter started this level earlier this year and she's almost nearing the end and we are thoroughly enjoying it. Today we are working through lessons 24 and 25. We like starting with the mental math questions first, so let's get straight to it. So, in a multiplication equation, what do we call the answer? Product. What do we call the top factor? Multiplicand. That's right. And what do we call the second factor? Multiplier. That's right. And then in an addition equation, what do we call the answer? Sum. And what do we call the parts? That's right. And then in a subtraction equation, what do we call the answer? Difference. And what do we call the top number? Minute. And the bottom one? What do we call this number? The amount we're subtracting. Subtract. That's right. Good job, Judy. 9 times 3 is 27. Nine times six is fifty four. Fifty four plus two is fifty six. Nine times one is nine. Nine plus five is fourteen. Is forty eight. Forty eight plus two is fifty. Eight times one is eight. Eight plus five. Seven plus zero is seven. Six plus four is ten. One plus four is five. One plus three is four. That's right. 
right, Jay, well done. Can you read that number? Can you put a comma where it needs to go and read that number for me? 14,507. That's right, good job. So how many partial products do we have here for this problem? Six. That's right, and what do we do next? products does this problem have? Four. That's right. Can we solve this? Can we first write the place value notation for this? Seven times eight. 
is 56. Seven times 20. is 140 140 plus 50 is 190 200 times 8 20 times 8 is 160 Two, tw 20 times 20 is 400 400 plus 100 is 500 90 plus 60 is 150 100 plus 100 is 200 200 plus 500 is 700 Shall we try solving this the non-traditional way? Three times four is twelve. Three times two is six. One times four is four. One times two is two. Six. Plus four is ten. Three plus one is one. One plus two is two. That's right. Good job. Let's try to solve this using the non-traditional way. Four times seven is twenty-eight. Four times three is twelve. One times seven is seven. One times three is three. Two plus one is two. Two 
plus two is four. Four plus seven is eleven. One plus one is two. Two plus three is five. That's right, so what's the answer? Five hundred and eighteen. Good job. Can you write the place value notation for this? That's right. How many partial products do we have for this? Four. Can you write them down for me? What's the answer? 168. That's right, good job. 2 times 3 times 8 equals what number? 48. That's right. 1 times 7 times 5 equals what number? 35. That's right. 4 times 2 times 9 equals what number? 72. That's right. 3 times 3 times 3 equals what number? 1 times 6 equals what number? 30. That's right. 2 times 2 times 8 equals what number? 32. That's right. 3 times 2 times 2 equals what number? 12. That's right. 1 times 9 times 7 equals what number? 63. That's right. 7 times 2 times 0 equals what number? 0. That's right. 5 times 4 times 1 equals what number? 20. That's right. Good job, Cherry.